How's it going my true people, Dr. Slacking the Slacking Doctor back on Pokemon Showdown for another OU Live today. Today we've got a bit more of a fun team, it's the Emoji Team. Uh, I wanted to use Darmanitan in OU, uh, and if you guys have been around the channel for a long, long time, you might remember Emoji from our Draft League games many, many moons ago. And I was like, I don't know what seems like we're going to have Emoji, the Darmanitan back on the channel, let's just do a full team of Emoji. So, that was kind of my idea, everything's got a nickname after uh, some sort of like Discord Emoji. That was it really. The team kind of works. Like I tried to make an actual team out of it as well. Uh, if you want to use the team, it will be down in the description. Uh, I've tested it like a few times and it's kind of, it kind of works. It kind of works. It's not perfect, but. Uh, so, man, it's been a while since I've done this. Obviously, I haven't really recorded anything since I went on holiday, particularly like OU Lives or anything. I apologize for no uploads last week. Uh, I've just been applying for jobs like crazy, so. Uh, I decided to take a week off YouTube uploads just to focus on catching up on draft league games and to focus on applying for jobs. So, but now I'm back and uploads should return to normal pretty much now. Uh, a lot of people like to lead with Lop. Um, and I kind of want to bait the fake out. So, I'm going to leave with Darm. It leads well against most of his team anyways. It leads to Goliath score. Uh... I should outspeed, and actually I can just burn this thing. Like, basically, this is a life orb down and it bluffs Scarf, because most people expect Scarf all the time. Um, so if you fire off like a Flare Blitz or something, so it goes to the Heatran, you can then Quake it. Uh, but also, Will-O-Wisp is nice for things like this situation, for example, where I could probably get a burn off on this guy's Scorp before he gets his Toxic Heal. Um, and greatly new to this thing, so... That's really, really useful. Uh, I can go to Zapdos and Defog, that's fine. Um, there you go, you see. He's not going to be able to do anything really... Um, and now his Goliath score doesn't get its kind of poison heal off, which is really, really cool. Um, doesn't do much damage, I shouldn't think, to, to many things now, like the Jirachi, for example, would be able to take an Earthquake Current relatively easily. Uh, so this is actually my Lopunny check, interestingly, um, as he brings in Lopunny. So I'm just going to Roost. Uh, we have Rocky Helmet and Static, so like, I'm surprised, like, yeah, my, my opponent isn't making good plays here. We are relatively low ladder, um, but like that, you've got to expect Static, um, Unzap those, or at least you've got to be aware of it. So going for things like fake out isn't necessarily the best thing. Um, I'm gonna, I was gonna say I have speed now. So if he goes for ice punch, we're in a good spot. Uh, he should high jump kick this turn, probably predicting me to roost again. So we can just fire for discharge uh, as he goes for the return, which is a good neutral play. But we're gonna put him down. So there we go. I didn't want to roost there and take a high jump kick because that would have done a lot. Uh, so it just seemed worth going for the discharge at least. I wish I had some water, but I don't. Sorry about that, guys. The music I was listening to, someone had uh, made a playlist, so I thought I could just listen to that music, but uh, they then plugged their own music throughout the playlist, it seems, which was every other song was their music, which was just crap, so it was, it was really annoying. Um, so this Greninja comes in. Now, Seismatoid kind of take out Greninja. I don't know if it's an Ice Beam set. Um, I'm seeing that quite a lot. Yeah, it's, I'm seeing this Specs Battle Bond Ice Beam grind a bit more at the minute, uh, which is weird. We have Drain Punch on it, um, so it doesn't let in things like Pharaoh and stuff for free. Uh, but I actually just value rocks for the Victini at the minute. Uh, he can bring in Pharaoh and that's fine. Uh, and get his own rocks up. But I'm going to get Emoji in here. And, and now uh, he's in a difficult spot. Goes for the... Uh, uh, goes for the seeds. I'm just going to Flare Blitz. I'm just I'm just thinking about that Gliascore coming in. Uh, I think it has to be the Gliascore coming in here. So... Uh, I'm going to double into Serp. I don't lose much if he stays in particularly, um, but I get a lot of initiative. As he actually goes into Gren, interesting. Uh, I'm going to double out to Frog. Uh, as he goes for the Ice Beam, doesn't do too much, doesn't freeze us, nice, nice. Uh, and this time now we've got a Rock Set, we can go for the Drain Punch. So as the Pharaoh comes in, uh, we can Drain Punch, get most of our health back. Um, Actually, we don't get much back with the iron bars. We don't get much back at all. But with the lefties, we get a bit. Yeah, it's not the best. It'd be nice if we did more. Um, mostly, I've just caught Kartanas with that drain punch trying to come in hard on me, uh, which is always nice. But that's not the end of the world. So, do I think he's going to want to get his rocks up here? He might want to get his rocks up. I still think I'm going to go hard down. Like, I don't. Yeah, he just wants to get his rocks up. And uh, I think the flip. I can't believe you went Gren last time. Like, what are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna U-turn. If he wants to go Gren, then this is yeah, this is a life orb U-turn from a Diamantan. I don't, I don't understand why he's going Gren. Um, but emoji is here. Emoji does not mess around. Um, 
Uh, if I go Jirachi, that brings out the Victini. That's probably not a bad thing. Uh, well, Frog's still relatively healthy. Uh, I don't know, actually, I switched into that thing not that well. If I bring out Serp, that brings out Pharaoh. Uh, if I bring out Zapdos, mm, probably also brings out Victini, but I can get Static and I don't have to hard switch. Let's go Zapdos. Um, ah, maybe this wasn't the play, because he could just go to Serp and start Leaf Storming, to be fair. Um... Yeah, he does just go to Serp. Um, that's fine. I still I still value the sack with um, Zapdos. Uh, as the Leaf Storm's not going to do much to start. And we can just now... Um, we can go for the Scarf U-turn. If he decides to stay in, which he does. We can sack the Zapdos. Um, and that gets a star back in. U-turn did how much last time? 45. So you turn will kill. I don't want to lock into Fire Punch um, and find myself in a bad spot. So I'm going to U-turn again. Um, as the Pharaoh comes out, I actually could have Fire Punch there. Um, that's fine. Gives me Darmanitan to click Flare Blitz. Um, I don't know if Gliscor is going to take it. This is a Life Orb Flare Blitz. I don't know if Gliscor is going to take it. Um, the alternative would be Victini. I could Quake on the Victini coming in. Um, but I think Rocks plus Blitz damage is going to do a lot to Victini. And I don't want him uh, staying in. So there we go. Woo! We just live. We just live. Uh, I expect the Victini to come out now. Uh, it's annoying that I don't have... Okay, actually Serp comes out now. Um, I'm still just going to go Jirachi as he goes for the Leaf Storm. Um, I'm going to U-turn again as Gliscor comes out. That's fine. Uh, I need to keep Jirachi healthy so I don't lose to Serp. So, I'm going to bring out my own Serp here. Uh, and I'm going to lose Storm. As long as I've got Jirachi, I won't lose to Serperia. Um... As the Gliscor goes for Toxic, that's fine. Man, if I had subbed there, I thought about it as well. I was like, nah, it's not worth it. If I had subbed. Uh, so unless he's Scarf Victini, we're not in a bad spot. Because if he goes into a Serp, uh, he has to like, Hidden Power Fire. And I don't think that'll kill. Now a Hidden Power Fire will kill. If he goes Victini, we can go. He goes Serp. So like, I don't think he can kill us, and I think we can kill him. So I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Fire as he goes for his. Don't know if that was a Speed Tire for Scarf. Can't say for sure, but... Um, it doesn't really matter. We, he might, uh, I don't think we're, are we max speed? Yeah, we are max speed, so, hmm, not sure. That could have been a speed day, it could have been Scarf. The way he played it, it could have been Scarf. Um, not sure, and then Victini comes out. See, I'm tempted to just glare here and just slow it down, so it's, um, slower than my Diancy. I think that's my play. Yeah, that's my play, I'm going to glare. It's slower than Diancy this way, um, and Diancy can, can beat it. Um, oh, I could healing wish up emoji. We gotta do that. We gotta do that. We gotta healing wish up emoji. We gotta do that. Um, if he was Z celebrate, like, that might... Do we get it before the rocks? Yeah, we do. Good, good. Uh, and then emoji can come through with the earthquake for the W. <laughs> there we go. Emoji catcher in the win. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um... Like I say, I don't think my opponent played that one very well, but Emoji got to put in some work, and that's what this live was about, seeing Dom do some stuff. So let's get another one, see what we can do. Um, okay. Uh, Scarf Cart, maybe. Scarf Lando, maybe. My opponent's saying good luck, have fun, which is nice. So I'm going to drop them a U2 and a smiley face, because I appreciate that. Uh, whew, uh, Seismitoad. Could be important for the Coco. Uh, Diancy has a really nice like speed against most of his team. Oh god, my nose is itching like crazy. Um, emoji doesn't look great because he has that thing there. I mean, Earthquake is pretty nice, so I guess. Um, if it's Lando lead. Um, It's really important that we keep Zapdos and Snake healthy. I'm going to leave with Jirachi and go for the Scarf U-turn. 
uh, as my opponent then drops you question marks in the chat because I'm taking too long to do my turn. See, we started well. We started well, me and my opponent here. Uh, we liked each other. We were dropping a good look, have fun each, and then uh, he got fed up. I'm going to Iron Head um, as he goes for rocks, I was going to say, because I think he's going to go for rocks and we can scout the set. Um, we can get a flinch. Nope. I don't really feel like we need Jirachi in this matchup, so I was like, I was kind of happy to run with that. Um, yeah, it's nice because it outspeeds the uh, lop, but that's not the most important thing. Ah, uh, I kind of this, see. This is the problem. I didn't think ahead far enough about this bloody volcano. Uh, we're gonna have to go Seismitoad, and if you see Head and Power Grass, and that just sucks. But I don't really have another switch, and it sucks because I want this thing for Coco. Um, I'm gonna get Rocks up because I don't think he stays in, and if he wants to defog, then. Uh, he defogs away rocks for me as well, which is nice. I think I am going to have to use Serp to pivot into Lando, unfortunately. Um, as he does just go for the Quake, I was going to say, as I think he has to just Quake here. Uh, I don't want to risk that dose just yet because rocks are up and there's a Kartana. Um, I'm going to sub and scout for like the Z move as he just goes for the U turn. I should have got damage off actually thinking about it. I've already seen his leftovers, I'm an idiot. That was a terrible play. We'd already seen his leftovers. That was an impulsive, like, ah, this could be, like, Zimu Lando, and then I... Yeah, gotta think. Gotta slow down. All right, that's fine. We can slow down. We can slow down as Lop comes in. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna use Zapdos. I have to use Zapdos to pivot in. It really sucks. Uh, Zapdos is getting very pressured this game, but um, kind of has to be done. We can... Take, I was gonna say, we can take an ice punch or a return, I'm pretty sure. Um, static gets us the power, which is always nice. Um, I'm gonna roost again here. That's it. I was gonna say, I just want to be as healthy as possible for this damn Kartana. Uh, I don't think this thing has like anything to hit me particularly, does it? I'm gonna just heat wave it. Uh, as he goes for the defog, okay. Um, we don't get the burn, unfortunately. It was worth fishing and also just getting some chip off on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go Serp again as he's going to go for his rocks. And now I'm going to fire off a Leaf Storm and miss. That's huge. Ah, oh, That really sucks. I really wanted... Maybe I should have gone for the Glare, but... I really wanted that Leaf Storm damage on this Lando. Because um, this Lando is such a pain. This game's going to be such a hard game to win. I still think Diancy's like our key mon now that we've got the Lopini paralyzed. Katana's the problem, but... Um... I'm going to go back to Toad. I can at least keep Serp as like a, um, as he goes for the Steam Eruption, amazing. Uh, I can get Rocks up here. Yeah, I can at least keep Serp as a sack in the back. It actually does take a round of Rocks if need be, so um, just. So that's cool. Cart comes out. This is why we kept Zapdos healthy. We can go into Zapdos here. We should be able to eat this up. So I'm really just trying to position Diancy to win this game, and it's very, very difficult. I mean, getting a Paralysis on this would essentially do it, but... Uh, yeah, we're definitely in a tough spot. Um, as he continues, I was going to say, as he just continues lead play to me, that's not his play at all. Like, Because look, if you look at Diancy, the last problem really for Diancy is Coco. But if we get a Calm Mind off on something, well, getting a Calm Mind is going to be very difficult here. Maybe if we force the Kira out, we can get a Calm Mind. Um, then we'll take one from Coco as well. Uh, this turn, I'm just going to Heat Wave. My opponent drops me in the chat saying, you are very lucky. I don't know, I think you're just playing badly if I'm honest, because I, I don't think you ever keep staying in and attacking a static Rocky Yama Zapdos with your cart, like what are you hoping to do? Um, weird plays to my mind. Here I'm just going to go for a discharge, I don't actually need this anymore. Um, so we can just go for the discharge. Um, I'm going to discharge again, like I'm tempted to reuse on this thing, but there's no point. Um... um Coco's still the problem, but like, we still have a full health Seismitoad, which is nice. I know that, I, I understand why my opponent feels I'm lucky, because because uh, I got two paralysis, but at the same time, like, don't keep it, like, when you get higher in the ladder, people won't just keep attacking a static Zapdos like that, because it's not a, it's not a good play. It doesn't help you. Um, I don't think I need my Zapdos anymore, so... Um, on the off chance he defogs or something, I'm just going to click Roost as he goes for the Dazzle. I don't want to go hard Seismitoad because of that exact reason. Like, um, if he's like Specs or something, that would be bad. Um, see, Toad doesn't get me a lot of momentum because he just brings in Kiram. 
guess I can Drain Punch on the Kiram and then pivot into what? Sack Superior, get a Diancy in and attack. Yeah, I think that's my play. Uh, I don't think he can ever afford to give me this, so I'm just going to click the Drain Punch. As he goes Lando, weird play. Um, I guess he wants to Defog. I'm going to Scold. Like, um, Kiram comes out now. So this is the exact situation I was talking about. Um, Jirachi's still nice because if it's not Scarf Coco, Iron Head's still nice for the Coco in the late game. So I'm going to just sack Surf. He couldn't live around a rocks, it turns out. So he goes for the Ice Beam. Um, now I could just come in and Flare Blitz with Emoji, Risk the Speed Tie. Uh, he doesn't have a switch in. I don't know if Diancy kills with um, anything at the minute. That's my problem. It probably does. Uh, but then what else does Emoji do? It doesn't take one from Coco. It does if he specs Dazzling Gleam. But then so does Jirachi. Yeah, I'm going to go Emoji. Uh, and we're just going to try and fire off the biggest Flare Blitz. Um, and we kill the Kiram straight up. So now, if he's if he's choice locked Coco... Uh, he's in a weird spot where he has to choice lock into a move that uh, either my Jirachi or my Seismitoad will take. So we've kind of forced him into a weird position. I just went for the Flare Blitz there because it would kill, definitely kill the Lopini as well. I could have gone for the Earthquake to be fair, but... Uh, I'm going to go into Jirachi. Uh, why did I go into Jirachi? Like, I don't know why. I should have gone into Toad. That was such a misplay. Um, I'm going to pivot into Toad. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I've already said I think this thing's choiced. That was just a, a momentary misclick, essentially. Um, here I'm going to Drain Punch, because if he goes into Lopany, I think it will probably KO the Lopany. Oh, it doesn't KO the Lopany. Um, so he's going to be at like 202 speed. Um, I don't have speed. We're going to go, we can take one with Diancy for sure. Um, and even if we don't... That didn't matter at all. Even if he killed us, we basically just went into um, Jirachi. We iron-headed this thing to kill it. And then we iron-headed the Coco that came out. It had to click T-Bolt to be able to kill my Rachi. And then Frog beat it anyway. So, like, we, we had this game tied up at this point. Um, let's see if we took one from this anyway. Well, if, I, I, the crit, like I say, the specs, I don't think it matters. Um, there we go to Frog. I don't know if he's... Um, yeah, he is choice. I thought he was choice. So, there we go, we pick up W, my opponent obviously is frustrated, I dropped him a GG just to be polite, um, and he has given me one back, which is nice, so, uh, should we get one more? Yeah, we'll get one more, I haven't been on, I haven't recorded a live in a while, let's get one more, the team's 2-0, which is nice, uh, as always guys, the team will be down in the description, uh, the poker base for it, I, I don't think it's necessarily a good team, uh, but we are 2-0 in the, I mean, we're only in the 1400s, we're not especially high, but still, that's, it's, it's good fun, um, Ooh, my opponent's team is weird and scary. So Mega Scissor, I'm guessing. Makes makes perfect sense to be Mega Scissor. He hasn't got another Mega. Maybe Z Kiram or Z Thunderous. Could be Z Keldeo. Wow, I really like my opponent's team. Um, rocks are really good against my opponent's team. So I want to get Rocks up. And I need to preserve Frog for the uh, Keldeo. But Secret Sword is going to do so much to Frog. Um, which is not ideal, but Zapdos is nice too for it. Uh, potential leads on his part, Gliscor. Um, Coco. Um, Alright, I'm going to lead with Emoji. We can hopefully catch the Gliscor again. Because he leads with Kieran Black. Like, this is a speed tie. And I'm so tempted to click will o -Wisp, but uh, I, I think I'm just going to Flare Blitz as he wins the speed tie. We're probably... Unless he's Scarf, of course. I was going to say, I think we're going to die to recoil, but that's fine. Alright, uh, we're going to bring in uh, Jirachi. It definitely outspeeds, even if he's Scarf. His switch-ins are the Gliscor, so I'm just going to U-turn. We killed the Kiram anyway. What do we want to bring out here? Uh, the easiest thing for us to switch into is Scissor. So let's go Diamonds, Diancy. Uh, the reason it's easy to switch into is Zapdos. Um, so we can just pivot into Zapdos here, and he can't do too much to me, even if he's like a curse set. Um, it's not going to do too much, and we can maybe snag the power. We can definitely get some Rocky Helmet Chip. We are a little bit lucky. We are a little bit lucky there, the first one. But, like, again, you probably hard switch there. You probably don't U turn with your scissor, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this thing comes out and probably sweeps my whole team. Like, I don't know how I beat this thing. Um, 
I think we can take one. <sighs> I really need this for the for the scissor though, don't I? I mean, I don't. I have fire punch plus hidden power fire. Uh, I think I have to use this for the thunderous, yeah, because if he does that, it's a bad time for everyone involved. Um, I can't sacrifice Frog because if he's choice Coco, that's running around a lot at the minute. Uh, I outsp no, I don't outspeed with Dancy. I outspeed with Jirachi, but I probably don't kill. I outspeed with Serp, but I probably don't kill. I have to just discharge again and try and put him in range. Um, we do take one, thank god. Um, I just have to let Bird go down. Unfortunately. Um, I guarantee to outspeed with Rachi. Rachi will bring out the... Um, Uh, I don't want to bring out the Keldeo anymore. I really do not want to bring out the Keldeo. Uh, well, I guess yeah. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. We're gonna we're gonna play some some risky stuff. Um, I'm gonna Iron Head and hope that it brings out the uh, Keldeo and not the Scissor. Ah, that's not what I wanted to see. Either way, hopefully we can get rocks up on this thing. That's what I'm thinking is that we can try and get that to so damn much. I wanted him to stay in. Didn't happen for me. Uh, as the Keldeo comes out, so this is definitely a secret sword. Um, Serp comes in and outspeeds, but if he scarf, that's a choke. Uh, I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna try and get rocks up. Um, all right, that that's helpful. That's really helpful um, because it means he's not scarf, so that's good information. Uh, we're just gonna quake here. We should break his sub. We do break his sub. Uh, is he special? Um, we always. Uh, he can't get that many Calm Mind boosts up on me. No, I was going to say, he he can't set up on me that easily. So, we do 33 there. Uh, plus one Spadef. Do we think this thing takes a Moonblast from, um... From Diancy? How useful is Diancy? Less useful than Serp, for sure. Um... So, I'm going to go Diancy, and I'm going to Moonblast. Uh... Or am I just going to double? He should probably save this thing. I think he should save this thing and he should go into a scissor. How good do I think my opponent is? Um, doesn't gain me a lot of initiative. I'm really going to struggle here. Should I earth power into the scissor coming in? No, I have to just moon blast. I have to just moon blast. We do have speed. We do KO. My opponent stays in. Um, scissor comes out now. Uh, I'm expecting a U-turn probably again. Losing Zapdos really sucked. Losing Zapdos sucks so bad. Uh, but Serp is starting to look kind of nice. Jirachi... I need chip on this thing, really, for Jirachi to do anything. Uh, I'm just going to Diamond Storm as he goes for the BP and KOs. I was going to say, I can't let him U-turn. This gives me Superior in. Um, I don't think he should stay in. I think that would be... A, uh, he could stay, He might stay in. He might stay in, so I'm going to go for Hidden Power Fire. Um... Uh, no, I'm going to leave Storm. I don't think my opponent should stay in. I mean, he stayed in with this Keldeo, but I don't think he should stay in. Um, I think this thing's too useful for Wall and Jirachi. Like, I don't think it makes any sense to give me this. If he just goes for the U-turn, then he's got me. But, like, this thing's really, like, his best Jirachi check. I don't think it would be uh, his optimal play to give it to me. Um, and if he can go, like... If he goes, like, Coco... Um, we maybe have a chance of winning. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think how we play out this end game. We have to leave Storm here. If he goes Coco, uh, he might fear that we're... He stays in. Why? why like, why? Why do it, though? Why? Like, if I hit him power fire you, you just lose to Jirachi. Potentially. Um... <sighs> My only choice is to... Um... Do I, t I, I have to Iron Head, and I can't beat the Scissor then. I could Fire Punch uh, and beat the Scissor, but I wouldn't beat the Goliath score. I have to Iron Head and just flinch down the Scissor. I don't I don't agree with my opponent's play over here, because if I had Hidden Power Fired, that turned his Mega in, uh, on his Scissor, and his Scissor was dead now. Now Jirachi can do this, and just Iron Head through his team, uh, if I get enough flinches. So, like, I... Uh, it worked for him, who, who am I to say? He, he Maybe he predicted me to uh, overpredict, so... 
Who am I to say? Uh, unfortunately, we are Scar, so the scissor can come back out now. Um, weird game, this one. Thundu was a huge set, a huge threat. Really cool team by my opponent. Definitely a really cool team. Uh, a lot of mons that I'm a big fan of on his team. Keldeo was a problem. The Thundee, I think, was the biggest problem. Having to sack uh, Zapdos to it just made the scissor such a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have sacked Zapdos um, with hindsight, but I think Zapdos was going to get picked off by one of his threats eventually, whether it's Coco, whether it's Thunderous, or whether it's Keldeo. Zapdos was so pressured in this game. Oh, well. Uh, Gliscor comes out, not the scissor. I, I'm guessing he just doesn't want to deal with, like, power of flinch hacks, but yeah, there we go. Uh, GG to my opponent. Um, really nice, really nice team. So there we go. That is the emoji team. If you guys want to try it out, we'll link down in the description as always. Uh, if you like this kind of more fun, weird team, then let me know. I have some collaboration lives coming up soon with friends and stuff that are a lot more kind of like a bit, bit out there, a lot more crazy. Um, just waiting on the graphics for those. So once Tubi gets back from his holiday and we have the graphics sorted for those, we're going to have more collaborative lives coming up, which will be super, super exciting. So thank you so much for having me, guys. And I'll catch you again next time.